Now, uh, Not too bad, and not too bad for part one. Okay, so what was going on here? Um, oh, sorry, I can clean up uh, part two. No way, beach stories, none. Okay, so we have this list of um, uh, basically like, well, these strings. Uh, which specified the row and the column of seats. Um, and so it's better to put it like this. Uh, right, so it was either F or B for front or back. Um, and R and L for left and right. And there were eight characters, uh, seven characters? Seven characters for front or back and eight characters uh, for left or right. Um, and so, right, you're sort of, they're giving you like, know, like the binary search or something, right? Like, uh, you tell you which half you're in, and then the next character tells you which half you're in within that. And so to pick, you know, from 0 to 128 or 0 to 127, takes seven characters, so right? that's 2 to 7. And to pick from uh, 0 to 7 takes three characters, right? That's 2 to 3, uh, eight possibilities. Um, so the way I've done this is just sort of reading out the number in binary, right? So the first, you could think of this as um, a seven digit number in binary, the row number, uh, where F is like a one, or sorry, B is like a one and F is like a zero, right? Because B means take the upper half. Um, and the first character is like the 64's place and the next character is the 32's place, right? This is how binary works. Um, so, for example, uh, so that would be zero one zero one one zero zero. Oh. Right, that's a seven-digit binary number, and I'm just translating. I'm just literally replacing f with zero and b with one, and then if you read that out in binary. Uh, this is the ones place, well, this is the 64's place, this is the 32's place. That one is a one, so you add 32. This is 16, this is eight, this is four, and these are nothing. And so that's row 44. Uh, and for the column, you just take this in binary, and here R means one and L means zero. Um, and so that's the four's place, uh, the two's place is empty, and then the one's place is five. And so we can translate this to row 44, column 5, uh, which is indeed what it's supposed to be. Um, and so that is just what I'm doing here, right? I'm starting with the 64th place, and then after I see a digit, I divide um, sort of the place by 2. Uh, and then I'm on the 32nd place, right? And after I see that digit, I divide by 2. And if I see a 1 or a B, then I add the current power of 2 to the row. Right, so I do that seven times, or I do that as many times as there are Fs and Bs, but the input is, is sort of well formed, so there will always be seven. And then uh, for the column, I do a very similar thing, right? I start with the fours place, right, that's this. And if it's an R, which is a one, then I add that current power of two. And either way, I go, you know, move on to the next power of two. Um, so four, two, and one. Um, so that gives us the row in the column. And then we can compute the seed ID, which is just uh, row times eight plus column. Um, add that to a list of IDs and also max it um, so if we're starting out at none then you need to do this stuff um, anyway max it for p1 add a list of IDs for p2 um, and then uh, we're looking for a gap in the IDs right that's what they tell us it should uh, um, the IDs minus one and plus one should be in the list. 
Uh, so go through the list and really okay. So this is like minus one from our candidate, right? This is what we think our seat might be, and then this guy should also be in there, right? Because our seat minus one and our seat plus one will both be supposed to be in the list. So if we find such a number, then mark that down as v2, right? That's the answer to part two, and then print out both answers. Uh, and indeed, this prints out 806 and 562, so that's great. Um, and so I had a bug uh, for part two. What was that? It was just that um, I had my indentation wrong, right? I had it basically like this. Uh, and so it was adding sort of every partial seed ID to the list of seed IDs, which is, just makes no sense. Um, so it's meant to be like this, right? You only count the seed once you're done parsing the whole body pass. So yeah, Python, uh, Python in indentation problem there. Um, and that is pretty much it for day five. Uh, so cool.